Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim, and thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. Today, we'll be talking something very important, and it's about uh, a biracial young lady, Maya Oxborn, right? Who made a confession of a quadron, right? So I am saying that this confession is something that I, I am really trying so hard to comprehend and uh, the fact that this confession actually came out on Black History Month because we are still trying to like, you know, finish up with Black History Month and a lot of things have been coming out left, right and that and uh, the whole thing is just really crazy and a lot of people are kind of confused. At first I was also confused like, is this a skit or it is real but then in the end it is real and i really need to see the mother because i have a lot of questions to ask and then also the father has some answers like you know some quote like you know he needs some he, we have he has explanations to like make because i don't see who approved this uh poet and all that because not like how did they approve approve that let me start with and thank God I wasn't there because if I were there, I literally would laugh out so hard that they have to escort me out of the place. And the people that kept straight face while the confession or the poet or the was going on, hmm, I probably would have booed her because, like, how? Let's get into this video. Someone who is three fourths massa and one quarter coon. Obama is a mulatto, that's the one drop rule fades through the American conscience. And maybe my story is just a little too honest. They say nothing's supposed to be black or white in a world so great, but I never knew where I was supposed to stay. In a house or on the plantation. See, I didn't know if I was supposed to drive the whip or crack it, because when I looked back at the cracker who had it, it was my back that he had slashed at, but I saw his face, and it was a mirror staring back at it. You see, they say the swirl is okay, that you're supposed to mix the black and white to create the gray, but I know that's not the truth because they look at you and there's only one thing that they say. What are you? Obama's a mulatto, but I could never keep it toe to toe because that was a black man to me and I am strong and black, you see. In both worlds that I'm trapped in between, there's only one color that should be seen. Mm. Also, really, why did she say coon? One quarter coon. You, you don't, you're not born a coon. You gotta choose to be. Why would you be one quarter coon? I, I, <laughs> you guys kept tagging me in this, and I literally was avoiding it for as long as possible. Because to keep it real with y'all, like, you know, if you follow me, I went and I met my little sister. My little sister's mixed. She's a little girl. I just want to make sure that, like, in 10 years, she's not doing this. <laughs> so I'm really trying to figure out the escape plan. Okay, this is the last time I'm going to speak about the <laughs> confessions of a quadroon. Um, I don't feel like her parents ever had an honest conversation about race and unlearned their biases about it. Because I watched, once again, the whole 12-minute video intercut with interviews between her, her mother, and her father. And this is what the father said. So I feel like when you said Maya identifies as black, well, okay, I guess I got negated out of this, you know. Uh, you know, I just, you know. Um, and, and, and in a way, society does that to create uh, one drop of blood, or if you're an eighth of octoroon, you're black. Man, it's unfair to be the white parent in that formula. That it's unfair to the white parent in that formula. Like, it's not surprising that he said that because he tried to wave it off as a societal thing. Like, these terms were consensual and agreed upon throughout the Caribbean's North, Central, and South America. Um, no, it's like a specific white supremacist ideology that these terms were created where there needed to be a distinct hierarchy where white is on top and everything else is beneath. And then there's another clip of Maya being surprised that her mom identifies as black because she said she never heard her mom identify as black growing up and her mom is about like the same skin tone as me um i feel like there is room for her to talk about her experiences growing up in a pwi and being unheard by maybe both her parents and especially her white father's 
about you know going through the problems of not being able to fit in as white but you shouldn't want to fit in as white anyway so white is a white supremacist ideology to distance yourself away from blackness and very anti-black but that's besides the point um yeah it's just like it, that poem lacks a lot of critical thinking especially with the terms that she used it could have been a lot better but you know whatever someone who is three-fourths massa and one quarter coon these are the confessions of a quadroon confessions of a quadroon is absolutely um my most well-known piece of work and my most requested by family and friends. Someone who, who changes colors based on the racial makeup of the room. It's one thing to pay homage and acknowledge the little bit of blackness you possess. It's another to make a mockery of it. That my black experience has been negated by others. And I have been told that I cannot live a black, I, that I'm not black, that I cannot live a black experience. You proclaim that the world is denying you your blackness, and in the same breath, you reduce your blackness to a derogatory term, and use the plight of black people as shock value for your spoken word. <laughs> I blame logic. Funny enough, you are as black as I am white. That's right, my friends. That's my mom. She's half white. Unfortunately for me, I don't get the superpowers of shape-shifting as is granted this quadroon who changes colors according to the rules of the room. No, no, no. I get the full experience of being black. The beautiful and the ugly parts. Anyway, enough about that. This young woman has just inspired me to explore my whiteness. <laughs> Let's see how far it gets me. I'm about to go cook up a green bee casserole for the Aryan dinner. <laughs> Catch me at the next clan me. <laughs> Very good. These are the confessions of a quadroon. Daughter of twilight, mothered of midnight, fathered of daylight and dawn, shadow of sunlight, shimmering starlight, sister of forest and fawn, maid of a morrow, mistress of sorrow, mingled of mourning and mirth born of world brotherhood crowned of all motherhood beauty of heaven and earth w.e.b du bois now my aim here is to point out the key differences that i see in the literary works of the quadroon by w.e.b du bois and miss maya osborne's interpretation of the quadrant as well it wasn't a direct interpretation of, of Du Bois it was her own um, experience basically put into prose no problem with that now the stark differences that I see between these two literary uh, uh, interpretations of the black experience don't get me wrong I don't want to invalidate or negate Miss Maya's uh, black experience because it is it is definitely a black experience that she is having in a in a what does she called it a a lactification trauma the the whitewashing of, of a black person's black experience only to till still tell them that they're not white enough you, you know what i mean like it's i hear you miss maya i hear you absolutely but when you got to that part where you said that you were someone who never learned how to be a black German Irish Romanian Jew who was that for who, who who were you trying to relate that what are you trying to relate the black experience to because we all understand the the the, the experience of not being accepted into white spaces however it's like you felt You know what I'm saying? Two thirds massa and one third coon. Uh, that's what they would be telling. I we I get it. I get it. But is the point of the poem to speak to them or to speak to us? 
There's no problem speaking to the, you know what I'm saying? Like we need to have conversation, but is that the way you want to lead that conversation? Do you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, I'm all I'm going to say, and I'm going to end it here is that I, I, I used to date somebody. <laughs> I ain't gonna say she looked like her, but white father, black mother dealing with all of those saying she's a black woman even though you know what i'm saying that's that's a black woman maya, maya is a black woman i think we just need to have better understanding within all of ourselves of what it means to be black to exude blackness to be viewed as black all of that you know what i mean it's interesting this this is this is an interesting literary piece of work that she has drudged up i can't i can't even lie go on here with your bad self <laughs> someone who is three-fourths massa and one quarter coon what in 2024 we're using the words massa and coon in the same sentence also i don't want to negate her experience but she's only a quarter black i of course your experience of not being perceived as black is going to be as such because you're very fair skinned you do look like you have some black in you but it's a quarter i do think being biracial and multiracial there are certain struggles but when you make it seem like it's the same as if you were fully black or even half black when you're literally a quarter is awkward and embarrassing i would not go around talking about how i'm a quarter white or a quarter indigenous it's a very small percentage anyways happy black history month someone who is three-fourths massa and one quarter coon i'm a black jew with a white partner and i'll be damned if i ever have a child or a grandchild that refers to themselves with any kind of any sort of quantity of coon being a coon as far as i'm concerned is always a choice i'm saving this video for myself as a reminder to take lightly the experiences of racial trauma of my of my potential biracial children internalized anti-blackness is a bitch and it's a bitch if you're a black person and you have black children that's a hard thing for any black person to learn how to unpack and i really feel like this weird behavior that we see from biracial children and the children of biracial children is a failure of the black parent to help that child to unpack their racial trauma so their traumatized ass is going around traumatizing other people and being weird you can empathize with the experience but that was just a it's such an odd way to discuss it someone who is three-fourths massa and one quarter coon i must really really fuck with y'all because y'all getting two for the price of one a night and y'all know what i like to say whenever i do these stitches I'm going to say this and I'm going to end mine. Someone please in the comments help me understand what the fuck this child is talking about. <laughs> Three quarters massa, one quarter coon. She's mixed? <laughs> What? <laughs> Yo, I ain't never laugh at something so hard in my entire life. I keep zooming in on the camera. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'll, I'll listen. This has been so inescapable. It's been every fucking where. It's been on my Twitter. It's been on my Instagram. It's been on my Snapchat, and it's been following me all day because that TikTok algorithm is a fucking asshole. This girl said. Three quarters massa, one quarter coon. Let me tell y'all what she did. She literally shitted on being black by calling herself a coon. What? I'm sorry, y'all keep zooming in on this camera. I had some golden chick just now. My hand's still greasy. Shit, some good ass chicken. If you in Texas, try that. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm I was just so perplexed at watching this shit because it's so funny to me. <laughs> Listen, y'all can come at me for the comments for laughing, but I'm just tell y'all this was Showtime at the Apollo to me. This was fucking hilarious. 
this was the regular old kings of comedy because what the fuck was this child talking about man <laughs> i'm sorry i'm gonna stop laughing i'm sorry. all right seriously <laughs> okay okay for real serious shame she shitted on herself by calling herself a coon she shitted on her black side by calling herself a coon while also i guess criticizing or praising her white side her three quarters white side or whatever the fuck i i don't know i'm sure i don't know correct me in the comments y'all have all the permission to and then to do this shit during the dog days of black history month i got a message for mixed race people i don't have a problem with y'all i really don't you know what i'm saying i, I love you guys and i respect you guys but put the rhyming down man Logic gave y'all too much fucking leeway with this shit Cause if you hadn't noticed That nigga liked to say nigga a lot He liked to remind you that he's half black By saying nigga Okay Man. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all Anyway Tell shorty not to do poetry no more From one former poet To another Shorty come on now I stopped writing poetry full time on a full time basis eleven years ago after the passing of my of my grandmother. Uh, it was one of the things that bonded us. You see what I'm saying? But we will often have conversation about pseudo poets and people who think they deep. Little mamas, you ain't deep. That shit wasn't cool. It was funny to me, but it wasn't cool. You literally took a dookie on your black side, and as a black man, I'm here to tell you, man. Come on now, you gotta do better, shawty, for real. I'm gonna I'm let y'all go. Y'all go enjoy my duet. I did one just now, even ten minutes ago, uh, with these kids dunking and shit like that. Y'all enjoy this. Y'all run these numbers up, man. God damn. <laughs> Someone who is three fourths massa and one quarter coon. There's like zero percent chance that she's for real right now. The problem that I have with this, number one, I'm biracial, and every single time y'all do this, y'all make me look dumb. I'm sick and tired. People call me mixed all the time. Don't call me mixed no more. I am biracial. I have two races. My father is black. My mother is Samoan. I do not identify with this quadroon mess, whatever that is. That is, no, 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 no. That's not me. No. But on top of that, it's like broski. Like... First of all, nobody even knows that you're black. You have to do poems and stuff so that people know that you're black. Nobody would have known that you were black in the first place. So why are you trying to make it seem as if you have all this identity and blackness? You're 25% black. That means you have to go to one of your grandparents' families to experience a black family. Like, do we not see the problem here? It's like you want to be a victim bad. And you're not really a victim like sure maybe you have an identity crisis but how can you have an identity crisis if again you have to go to your one of your grandparents sides for you to experience a black family unless you have like what two grandparents that are biracial which in and of itself is strange like not strange because i mean people are people and people are their races they you can't control your race you can't control your ethnicity and you can't, you know, as far as ethnicity to biracial people fall in love. Great. Like, who cares? But it's just like, dude, it's exhausting. It's exhausting to try and make it seem as if you are suffering so much because of the fact that you're 25 percent black. Like, that's you're not suffering, dude. You're not suffering. Like, don't don't try to play that card because you're not, and we know that you're not. And it's just a way to, you know, scream victimhood because everybody wants to be a victim of something. Everybody wants to have experienced something. Like, everyone wants to have trauma from something. So let's just make things up, pull things out the sky and say that this is our trauma. Like, please get out of here, bro. You have trauma from being 25% black. Give me a break, dude. Give me a break. Someone who is three-fourths massa and one-quarter coon. Yo, she's wild for that. <laughs> Can I just say something real quick? When it comes to biracial people and their identity, I feel like as though they really 
have a hard time defining themselves and they make silly statements like that and it never works in their favor <laughs> it doesn't work in your favor at all like i understand that you are having an identity crisis and you don't know what race group you belong in but for you to say you are what three-fourths of of massa and then one-fourth coon is insane to me <laughs> like it's too much girl sit down somewhere <laughs> and like this is the same thing logic the rapper do he's like trying so hard to identify himself as a black um individual when really he's i would say more so biracial or multiracial and same thing for this girl a lot of you biracial people have to understand when you don't look like me you don't deal with the same struggle as i do let me be clear if you are a biracial white passing person you do not deal with the same struggle that i deal with okay you could still receive some sort of privilege in society me on the other hand i can't so you have to really think for one second and understand that you have your lived experience and other people have their lived experience but it's not going to be the same for you to say that you deal with the same issue as a person who looks like me who is black and you are a white passing biracial is very telling and you really need to just sit down and educate yourself and figure out what you're saying is wrong that's all i gotta say about this no because it's not even just the words it's the voice like why do you sound like a wise old owl right now like it's giving prophecy, not poem. You sound like a fool. So this is all I got from this. And sincerely speaking, when I saw this, I was, I was like, how did she, who approved this? I don't know who approved this, but this confession of a quadrant is just a bullshit. Let me start with, I alone, I do not see any blackness in her please pardon me if or you think i am not being but this is it first when i saw that i was like she might she might really be like you know a white uh girl maybe with a little tan or something i did not my brain did not catch that brownness sorry her and i didn't oh i did i say i do not see any blackness right so i had to l listen to like you know start checking out like you know only to find out that she is mixed right the truth is that i need to see her mother and uh i really do want to hear from her who approved this i mean it's really crazy how people that are not even black passing talk about me not being accepted in black community she is 25 or me is there anything like i think she is even i don't think that 25 percent. i think that 25 percent is even too much from what i saw from what i am seeing i think the 25 percent is, is too much because she really i do not see any features or something and these are the people that embrace their white part because if you like you know check everything about her and all that you will find that that she's probably not embracing her black side and all that or she is only embracing her you know white side and now she is talking about not being accepted and being quadrum and mass whatever and uh, uh obama is a mulatto and the rest of it really at first i was like is this a skid or something Maybe they were shooting something, but I found out that it's a poetry, and uh, I don't know. 
I don't know what kind of stand up or I mean the whole thing is and I am confused that the people that were seated I mean people that were there listening to all that because I call that BS and bullshit did not boo out if I were I probably would boo her out because what in the nonsense is this and why did she post this this is Black History Month who asked her to post this in February? Black History Month. You know, it's really amazing how everybody want to trend. They all have refused to let black people shine, let black people, like, you know, enjoy Black History Month. But every each passing day, we wake up to all of them coming out to say some bullshit and all that, and, uh, you know, and Black History Month. And um, it looks like an episode of Hong Kong because like, you know, the whole thing is she is also trying to cheat on her black uh, black side and all that. And I need to even ask, where is her father? Because I feel like she has a white mother and maybe a black father because from the look of things, you can balance and all that. Where is the father? Because I have so many questions to ask her. Who approved of this? Because this is bullshit this is not making any sense and uh i will laugh so hard i will laugh out so loud at the beginning of the quadrant because like where did she get all that how did she like you know wake up with all all that you know mom see that's why I really like it. I understand why black people or like, you know, or so much like you know, mixing up and all that because in the end you start seeing so many BS and I mean, there are so many, so many problems that come with, uh, uh, you know, all this mixture and all the interracial and biracial kids. There are some you see, you know, there are black kids, you know, there are some you see, I mean, seriously, I am still having a hard time to see her black features, you know, because for her to be like, you know, talking about being, because uh, from what she is saying, she's saying that she is being rejected for her black side, because I do not see that black side. Please let me know what you all think in the comment section. If you are seeing the black side, all right, let me also know if you are seeing that black side. And um, that's all I got to say. Bye for now.